Welcome to our continuing series on the wisdom of Ignatius. My name is Kevin Leidig and I'm one of the pastoral staff members here at the Retreat Center at El Retiro. Our current crisis helps us to explore what is truly essential. As our movements become restricted, we have the chance to review our life choices, our habits of travel, our entertainments, and consumerism. Also, this is a chance to review how we spend our time, how we relate to people, the time we spend on social media, the jobs we do to make a living, and so forth. There are questions that we may ask ourselves at this time. What really serves me? What really serves the whole? How do I want to prepare for the future? All these considerations of what is truly essential in our relationships, decisions, and how we spend our time. Ignatius of Loyola also confronted these same questions after his conversion experience, when his life was stopped not by a pandemic, but by a cannonball. The result of his reflection on what is truly essential is his gift to us through the wisdom of the first principle of foundation, a blueprint describing what he discovered to be essential about his life and the lives of all people. This short five-part series will explore for your prayer and consideration this fundamental statement in the wisdom of Ignatius presented at the beginning of his spiritual exercises. The first line of his first principle of foundation reads this. Human beings are created to praise, reverence, and serve God our Lord, and by means of doing this, to save their souls. When I presented this statement a few years ago to a class of students, one young man raised his hand and said, Is that selfish of God to create us to praise, reverence, and serve God? A very good question. My response is that that statement is not one directional, but is meant to describe a relationship, a friendship, a love that is mutual. The key is found in the three initial verbs, praise, reverence, and serve. They are carefully crafted and chosen by Ignatius. But what do these words mean? Praise is to name the other in honesty. Reverence is to regard the other as a gift. Service to notice the needs of another and generously try to meet those needs. Taken together, these three verbs describe the essence of love. I sometimes have used these three verbs as a centerpiece of a wedding homily. The bride and groom are entering into a deeper relationship of praise, reverence, and service. When teaching, this is my overall blueprint in creating a community among students in a classroom or as a team chapter chaplain for a group of athletes. And the statement ends, and by means of doing this, to save their souls. Save from what? From meaninglessness. The word love is never mentioned in this opening line or throughout the short first principle and foundation. Yet the whole statement is about love. Love is our purpose, the dynamic that gives meaning to our lives. In the next four sessions, we will explore the implications of this opening statement upon our lives and upon our choices. Thank you.